Hi everybody, and today I'm going to talk to you about Cryptos Exchange, which is a part of Coin's liquid platform, and how to deposit virtual currency there. You can read more about Coin on the ICO white paper and from the official webpage. And you can find the links to them on the description of this video. In Cryptos, you can trade different virtual coins and tokens with extremely low fees or no fees at all. Uh, Coin announced its own ga gas token and held a successful ICO earlier this month. And gas will provide with liquidity to all the users around the world, and the company has a plan to make its own workbook to solve the problems in liquidity on cryptocurrency world. So, how do you get started? Uh, first, you need an account to start trading. You can see right now that we are on the registration page of the Cryptos platform. And all you need to do is to put in your personal information and set up a two-factor authentication. Uh, it's good for your security you now. Uh, and to learn more about that process, uh, mostly the two-factor authentication, uh, you can check other videos on YouTube or just Google it. It's quite simple, but you just have to get over with it. And to start trading on the platform, you do not need to send your personal documents, like a picture of passport or your billing address, right now. You have to provide them when you are going to withdraw your funds. So, starting the trading here is rather simple, and when it comes to that, the confirmation process is very quick. For instance, I got my account verified in a day. And now, when we have the account, we should get to the landing page of Cryptos. Uh, I think it's usually the training dashboard, and it might look a bit complicated at the beginning, but uh, when you get used to it, it's quite simple to use, and you can customize it as much as you want, and you get a lot of interesting information about the other cryptocurrencies. Uh, but the point of the video was uh, about finding your account. So you had to navigate to the left side of the page and click the panel there. And you should see the section Deposits and Withdrawals. And there are plenty of other interesting sections too, like Account Verification and Quick Exchange. But we might get into that later. But now we are focusing on the deposits, so click that. Now that you have opened the section, you should uh, see your personal deposit addresses still, like mine gets strictly to the Bitcoin. And the other one that I usually use here is Ethereum. And these are the ones that I use to trade them to cash because that that will be a huge token future and it has already skyrocketed in price. Like if you participate in the eco, you have made your money several times back again. Now, in this picture, in this video, I have part of my Bitcoin account visible as I want to keep some privacy for myself. Uh, but you will, however, see the whole address of your own as well as a QR code that allows you to deposit crypto to your account. And in order to make this happen, you need to send some funds from your crypto wallet like Coinbase or some other place where you keep your money or from another trading platform to the specific address you had to copy it right or otherwise it might get lost and be be certain that if you are sending Bitcoin from your wallet to cryptos make sure that you are choosing the Bitcoin address not other, other ones because then your funds might disappear forever now I myself have deposited both Bitcoin and Ethereum and the transactions were fluent as Cryptos doesn't need confirmations for depositing. And in addition, when your coins are transferred to Cryptos, they are kept in gold storage. If you know what that means, then you know it's good and it's safe. Uh, so no one else can gain access to your coins via security breach or network error or anything else. And also, coin is backed up by Japanese government, so if something happens to them, you won't get mount cocked, you will get your funds back, and they are safe at the wallet anyway, so no one can hack you and take them away. But now, you, your account should be funded, and you can start trading. Um, the quick exchange panel is the easiest way, but you might not always get the best possible price, so... 
You should anyway go there now when you have a chance and buy a lot of grass gash. Just total it. And you can do it instantly with the market price. And if you are a more experienced user, you can start doing market and living trading on the trading dashboard. And But I hope this helped you to get started. And all in all, I'll give you one more advice. Start hodling gash now.